لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساء محرمتها وكم كرهت مصابها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله يبارك فيك to everyone that has supported this channel and I don't say this enough I am absolutely humbled with all the support messages I get I've been active now for four years and with your duas and with your you know support I don't think I'll be able to continue uh, especially when I do everything on my own now, I have been at the forefront in tackling the intolerant, uh, you know, elements of society, especially amongst the Muslims when it comes to their regular attacks uh, against Muslims because of, you know, a lot of clauses and, and, and we don't want to get into that. And there's also another category of charlatans and frauds that need to be highlighted with the same rigorousness. And these are the liberal simp, no backbone, so-called imams that we are now seeing gaining in popularity. Well, they're always gaining popularity, but they, you know, with social media, their popularity is increasing. And this is the real reason, okay, why more Muslims, okay, are distancing themselves from these so-called mainstream dawah personalities and the shenanigans um, which they do behind closed doors. Like... Hassan al-Basri said regarding nifaq. Nifaq is what is different or which opposes what is a'laniyya to something that is batin. So that is nifaq in an essence. And there's four obviously um, aspects of nifaq from the hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now I don't want to put the video up but there's a video that's going around, circulated. And the video title, and again I don't want to put it up. It's the truth behind uh, dunya shu'aib and the religious leaders or and religious leaders. And the reason why I don't want to put any... Uh, clippings or you know um, extracts because of copyright uh, worries I, I know this is going to be copyright by the dawah mafia but let me tell you something you don't scare me only reason why i'm not putting it up is because of the potential backlash for the channel but i'm going to call you out and let's be frank there has been information that i'm aware of okay and i have i have evidence and proof from the one that sits at the top of the food chain at top of the pyramid and and again i don't want to mention his name but the, the hypocrisy is unreal. The brother confirmed so much issues with the way he was treated, you know, swatting, um, you know, secret recordings that obviously he came across, um, you know, so the police and the fake calls. And then the community leaders that betrayed him. And this is a common pattern that we find in these liberal woke imams, especially when it comes to the um, simping to the sisters and the contributing factor to all of these issues you're finding leave the personal issues because i don't want to get involved in that because as i said i'm not a mufti and i'm not involved but what i can tell you is that the openness and so lackadaisy when it comes to the, the issue of free mixing is what's resulting in these problematic attitudes now this is one example as you can see on screen look at this like they are creating an atmosphere of allowing men and women to be so casual and so open. Even we've got our beloved Mufti Menk who takes selfies with sisters. Umar Suleiman takes selfies with sisters. But I guarantee you, when it comes to their own, they won't do the same. But bring it close to home, they won't allow their sisters or daughters or their wives to go nowhere near men. But they're happy to take photos with others. Look at the hypocrisy of Dunya Shu'aib speaking about intimacy with non-mahram men. You know, as I said, it's a product of these, you know, culture of allowing, you know, open free mixing the way they do. Uh, and as, as you can see, Mufti Meng, you know, taking selfies with sisters. And I've got many, much more, you know, information regarding this uh, individual who is the fan favourite, like they say. And ultimately, the key issues are how this brother was ignored by the public speakers. Umar Suleiman, you completely ignored this brother. You love the limelight, your opportunities. Okay, leave, you know, your libation and now that you come out publicly, okay, you know, it's never too late. But it just shows that this is the agenda. It just shows that you're following this liberalistic agenda and you don't even know it. You understand? You don't even know it. 
Um, likewise, Mufti Meng, let's put him on, on, on scale, as you can see on screen. When it comes to the whole Hassanad scandal, and we highlighted that many years ago, you could, the cards up there. Um, as you can see, you can read it. There are so much contradictions and issues that we highlighted, but you completely ignored us. Okay, you completely ignored us because you're top of the food chain. But I've got some information that I'm going to read out to you. And I think I'm going to get your attention this video. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get your attention because the gloves are off now, mate. The gloves are off. Okay, here you go. Facts behind the scenes. Look at this. So much hypocrisy. And he ignored us. He ignored us. Okay, but I'm going to show you the type of shenanigans that what you, what you saw from the brother who released that video. It's also common. And I've got voice notes, and as I said before, the prominent Mufti um, ignored me, okay? But I think I'm going to get his attention in this particular video, I assure you. I'm definitely going to get his attention in this particular video. These are the screenshots I've just got up, just to show you why the type of behaviour that they have behind the scenes uh, is a lot different. And they are no different. These liberal, modernist, woke preachers have to be called out. Absolute madness and insanity of the information that's just been brought forth by this brother. Uh, it's not surprising to me because I've been sitting on information for over two and a half years among, amongst others. Um, and again, I've, spoke, I've thought mashwara. And what I'm going to do is, I, I said initially I was going to release it, but then obviously I was told not to. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transcribe it. And the prominent mufti will know also while what I'm talking about. And after seeking mashwara, I've been told that, look, it's best not to release the audio. What you can do is you could say that you've heard it, which I have. It's one, hour, one minute and 55 seconds, just to be exact. Yeah, one minute and 55 uh, five seconds. And also, I'm going to transcribe it. It's ignoring me, but the indirect tweets, which I can, you know, read between the lines. So one minute and 55 seconds. And let me just transcribe it. Oh, prominent Mufti. Okay. Now, you were largely involved in the scandals prior to the scandals where, or the scandal that we're seeing. Now, why I'm highlighting you is because you're sitting on top of the food chain. You're sitting on top of the pyramid. And as I said before, little channel, no little channel. You know who I am. Okay, you know who I am. So let's transcribe it. And I'm going to get your attention because you're conveniently ignoring me, right? Let me transcribe it. Assalamu alaikum ya Habibi, my brother. I'm in Australia, Habib al-Ghali. Prominent Mufti was defending such a person and as a Mufti, Without even going into the details, obviously he's sitting in where he's sitting, you know, he doesn't know the details, but because of some, and how he, how he dealt with it subsequently after was even shocking. I'm going to just mention one more thing, okay? And then you'll understand what I mean. I just want to tell you something, Habibi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you victory. Okay. Allah will grant you victory. But subsequently what happened? Subsequently what happened, right? Those same people that you were giving your unconditional support to were embarrassed, were found out to be frauds were murtaddun were using the name of islam to profit and you were saying uh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you victory okay and what uh, and to, what's shocking as well is at the end you say i stand fully in support of and he mentions the names i know for a fact all of this is rubbish you knew for a fact all of this was rubbish but it wasn't was it uh, what happened and then you go on to say i don't want to quote you verbatim but then you start going on about getting lawyers involved and social media lawyers and what can we do about this this is the point right well you think it's slick you're not slick now because of a maslaha card i'm not releasing these audios i want to play it in front of you what's this behavior Umar Suleiman? wasn't the libation issue and you know being cozy cozy with your allies uh, not enough of a lesson for you now you're uh, this is probably done in between i don't know but this is the type of behavior you're an opportunities mate and siraj wahaj and all the others completely ignoring his brother other things as well that were mentioned and I'm not putting the the extracts of the video because I know this video is going to be taken down Not my video that brother's video is going to be taken down like this. Trust me the Dawah Mafia you think you, you, you think you're slick You think you're untouchable. You think you're invincible. Trust me. There's more that I have So all of you you need to come out every single one of you ignore me I've just given the transcribe of what I have. I have more you get it the problem Mufti I have more you're ignoring me long enough but now that this thing has come to the forefront, you really think we're going to sit there quietly? You think you're going to silence me? Listen, I don't fear the blame of the blamers. Do what you want. Who, who's, who's going to do anything to me, right? You might have your, you know, cronies and you might have your uh, thugs that you might speak and silence other people. You ain't doing that to me, mate. I assure you, you ain't doing that to me. So all, and, and I've transcribed just a bit because of Muslim, because I thought Mashwara, they said don't do it. You understand? Don't release the audios. But I've transcribed a bit of it. So you know now I'm going to get your attention. Now I'm going to get your attention. Kashmir issue, going to some pro, you know, Hindutva politician, sitting with Sahayanas, behaving hypocritically with... Well, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? All the, all the others, what, especially across the pond. Listen, you're not going to bring that nonsense here. 
I assure you, not going to bring that nonsense here. There's honorable brothers. And my brother Daniel Hikiju, he's standing alone, holding the fort. May Allah preserve him. And like I said before, we agree, disagree on things, of course. But when it comes to the crux, the main issues that are prominent, oof, he's got my unconditional support. This is where we need to support brother Daniel. He's standing alone in this, facing these sh uh, charlatans and fraudsters. So I've got your attention. I'm sure after this, I've got your attention. So I'm sh when you come to the UK, if you don't want to speak to me, as I said, I might change my mind. And the day I seek mashura, you know, I'm a great law student. I, I seek mashura of the ulama and brothers that I, I uh, look up to. And they've said, hold up. But let me tell you something. I'm quite hard-headed as well. I could go against the, uh, the tide as well. So don't push me. Okay? And to send a threat. What I'm saying is after this brother released all the behavior. See, if we don't call this out now, and we don't be forceful against it, like we are with the madakhil and the pseudo salafin, the intolerant salafin, what's going to happen next? You think you're going to get away with it? You think you're invincible? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. So take care of yourselves. As I said before, as long as I've got a soul in my body, I will call you out. I will enjoin the good and forbid the evil. Sha'a man sha wa abba man abba. Okay? Those who like it, like it. Those who hate it, hate it. Take care of yourselves. Wassalamu alayhi wa muhammad. ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمن إن الغريب غريب اللحد والكفن إن الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيم في الأوطان والسكن سفر بعيد وزاد يبلغني وقوتي ضعفت والموت يطلبني ما أحلم الله عني حيث أمهلني وقد تماديت في ذنب ويسترني تمر ساعه 